It's a surprise. In the V? Might be. Well, it's either that or the car lot. Ah, oh, sis, you haven't bought me a car, have you? <sighs> OK, it's in the Vic. Well, this wouldn't be a farewell party or anything like that, would it? Well, would you really mind if it was? I'm not sure. Well, it isn't. I just thought we could have a quiet drink before you go. Are you going to be all right, sis? <laughs> of course I am. I worry about leaving you here on your own. I'm a big girl now. Handled Luca, didn't I? Oi, what about Luca? Nothing. I don't want you anywhere near them, DeMarco. <sighs> Look, Mum, I spoke to Rose and she was just as upset about the whole thing as you were. Oh, I doubt that. Can't you at least talk to her about it? She knows where I am. Well, it's 10 5 10 for cash. Cheers. Thanks. Right, I'll take this down to my old mate, Neil. At the piano. Cheers. I'll bunt to Calais, let's see what happens, basically. But I want to work my way down to Spain or Italy. See if I can get a job for the summer. Costa del Sol, that's the place. Most of them are English there, so you uh, won't have to learn to I don't want to be a typical old Brit abroad, though. I want to see how other people live. Yeah, good for you, Tony. People are the same all over the oh, world. Oh, here we go. Frogs, I, Thai, Spanish, Portuguese, all the same. What he means is they're all foreigners. Workshide, a lot of them. How'd you make that one out? Well, take your bog standard Mediterranean. He is bone <laughs> idle. <laughs> He doesn't start work till after 10, does a couple of hours, nips home for a kip in the afternoon. <laughs> it's cool as siesta, Terry. We can call it what you like, you're still asleep. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, it's too hot, isn't it? It's too hot. hot! What would happen if our steel workers in those dirty great furnaces down tools because it was too hot? <laughs> or the firefighters dropped their hoses to go and grab 40 wings? Well, we've started him off now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'd have ships and trains all grinding to all because the stokers want to put their heads down for half an hour. You're going to go back to work, don't I, in Spain on this yesterday, wouldn't you? That doesn't count. Why not? Why? Well, because, because it's the end of the working day, isn't it? It's finished, it's over. That's a different thing altogether, that is. That's European rules. Rules? Well, he's making it all up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Whenever you think you're going to lose an argument, it's like talking about Brussels, and that's all there for. Well, it is. Oh. All I'm saying is they have standardised the working week. No, he's yeah, right, he's yeah, right, because yeah. they did it to the banana. <laughs> Exactly. Come on, then. What exactly are these rules? Yeah. OK, OK, OK. You want to know, right? Yeah. Right, all right. You see, you see, under the rules, you can't, that is, you're not allowed in the first place, yeah. in certain circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredibly complicated yeah. and you're never going to understand. Yeah. Things. I'm a news anchor. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm surrounded by it all day in news, views, political comment. Yeah, he only looks at the pictures. Right, right. Pearls and my swine, I'm going for a little riddle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I don't know what to do with him. He's had a face as long as a canoe all week. Tell me about it. When I came in this morning, like he didn't know whether to pour milk on his cornflakes or slit his wrists. So what shall I do with him? Second. What for? i a miserable kid. Cheers, that's a big help. Don't mention it. For you being here. Oh, All right. Give me a drink. Not from you, I think. Coming up. Hey? I saw you last night. With that Natalie. So? So? You were snogging her, that's what. I'm going over to my mum's tomorrow. What am I supposed to tell Bianca? I wasn't snogging anyone. I saw you. No, you didn't. She was legless and a bit upset, that's all. So you snogged her? Will you stop saying that? Why, it's true. Well, of course it's not. But Natalie is a mate, nothing else. I love Bianca. <laughs> well, it didn't look like that from where I was standing. But I told you that she had too much to drink, I stopped her from falling over. Anyway, it's Barry she's after, not me. And if you say anything to Bianca, I'll kill you. She's my sister, you know. Yeah, and she's my wife. Look, I don't care what you thought you saw, I'm telling you, nothing happened. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Are you winding me up? Listen, I ain't frightened of you. If you mess about, I'll tell Bianca. Yeah, well, whatever. Just get your facts straight first, all right? I'm telling you, nothing's going on between me and Natalie. It better not be. Well, I'd be hard to beat the 
the bloke should have a go the duck said, look, no, I, I don't want it. He said, come on, have a go. He said, look, I'm really not interested. Tony. Do you want a drink? No, thanks. I've just left Simon. He said, I tried it once and I fell off my bike. Leave me alone, will you? <laughs> he's sitting in the laundrette on his own. Well, I told him he'd be in here. Yeah, well, he's either too proud or too stupid to come. What about you, Tony? Well, about me. Well, are you the same? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think it's right to leave without seeing him? He knows where I am. He deserves it. Well, that's rich coming from you, isn't it? Tony. No, he's right. Only the difference is, I know I made a mistake. And I also know that I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. I don't let the same thing happen to you. I thought you had a party. I have. You were invited. I was busy. So I see. And you better be getting back. Your mum seemed to think we should talk before I leave. Yeah, well, she had no right to, to interfere. It's mother's prerogative, innit? I think my mum's used up all of those. <laughs> so, you all set then? Nearly. Well, I've got a rucksack full of Spanish phrase books and clean socks. Yeah, well, clean socks are very important. Mm, that's what I thought. Do you know where you're going? Sort of. Do you? What? Well, if I come back in a year or so, you're still going to be sitting here in the laundrette. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering if you knew what you was going to do with your life. Listen to him. He hasn't even finished packing his bags yet and he's sending to Scott of the Antarctic. Oh, do excuse me for giving a toss. This isn't a life-changing moment, Tony. You're slipping round France, keeping out of a tent, that's all. Well, at least I'm doing something with my life. So am I. What, washing your underpants? That's typically you, that is. No-one's ever as good as you are, are they? <laughs> I've forgotten what an arrogant little git you can be. <laughs> Me arrogant? You heard. You're the one who expected everyone else to put their life on hold while you decided what you wanted to do. Uh, no, Tony. I never asked you to do any such thing. Oh, get stuffed. I don't need this. Running away again, just because you can't get what you want. You're perfect, you know that? Maybe I am, but at least I'm not some spoiled brat who sulks every time he doesn't get his own way. Oh, think what you like. I thought you were going. I am. You just make me really angry. Me? Yeah, you. I tell you I want to be with you, make a commitment, and you chuck it back in my face. Commitment? You? Well, that's like Vinnie Jones lecturing me on flower arranging or something. You don't know what that word means, Tony. I was waiting for you when you got out of hospital, remember? I was ready to be with you for the rest of my life. To make a commitment. You're the one who said no. So, yeah, I decide to do something positive. And you have a go at me for that. I'm not having a go at you. Then what are you doing, Simon? Why all this? I don't know. Fine. Tony, please. I'm sorry. It just took the wind out of my sails a bit, you know? When you came back, I just didn't expect it. You mean you took me for granted? I thought we could be together. I didn't need your pity. It wasn't pity. I wanted to be with you like we used to be. Yeah, Tony. Just before you started fancying women again. I couldn't help that. OK. But you can't blame me when I refuse to sit around waiting for you to decide whether you're gay or not. When you were little, Went through that time of wondering if there was something wrong with you. Not being able to explain your feelings, not knowing who you were or what you were. You told me that, remember? So? So you had that when you were a kid. You worked it out, found out who you were and got on with your life. Well, I didn't get that. Those feelings only started for me a couple of years ago. I had to find out who I was in the middle of a relationship with you. You decided that I wasn't what you wanted? No, I had doubts, just like you must have done. Only I didn't have them as a teenager in my own room, safe and in secret. I had my doubts while I was in your bed. Just try and imagine what that was like for me. Yeah, well, you should have talked to me about them. I might have been able to help. I tried. I, I, I just couldn't explain myself properly. So what's changed, Tony? What's different now? I know what I want now. What's that? 
to get away from this place, find out who I am. You are going then? Of course. What if, um, what? If I asked you not to, would you stay? No. I have to do this. I've made my mind up and nothing will change that. There is one more thing I think you need to work out. What's that? This travelling round Europe, new experiences. Are you going as a gay man? Oh, does it matter? Well, I think it's bound to come up, don't you? Then I'll worry about it when it does. Yeah, well, it might be too late by then. Why does everything come down to sex? Because who you sleep with defines who you are in the eyes of other people. It ain't about being gay or being straight. It's about the person, or at least it is with me. That is now other people see it. And why should I care about what other people think? Well, you don't. But the reality is, you share a hostel room with three or four other blokes, and then they find out that you're gay. <laughs> they think you've been getting your jollies watching them getting dressed, and they kick the living daylights out. Like I've said, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Besides, I've been there before, remember? Yeah. Why can't I just be me? Why does everyone try and put a label on it? Because it's not just about everyone else. It's you. What's inside you, Tony? Who you are? You want to know whether I'm gay or not? I think you should know. Oh, I know, all right. If gay means I'm attracted to men, then yeah, I am. And I'm not ashamed of it. But if I'm honest, if I had a choice, I wouldn't be this way. I'd be a Jack the Lad, heterosexual, out in the pool every night. <laughs> Who in their right mind would choose to be gay or bisexual or anything else that makes people look at you like you're from another planet? But yeah, I do fancy men. And there's nothing I can do about it. Is that what you wanted to hear? No. Why? Because it makes it harder to watch you leave. I'm not going to change my mind, Simon. I know. You should be getting back, or you're going to miss your own party. Yeah. I'll miss you. Maybe I, um, could write or something. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just, uh, being selfish, taking a notice. Hey, come on, don't say that. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Yes, I have. I made a mess of everything. We'd probably still be together now if I hadn't been so stupid. You made your decision. I don't blame you for that. You don't understand. I really love you, you know. Don't say that, not now. Why not? You know why not. It's not fair. I don't want you to go. I've got to. Tony, you don't have to do this. Look, you can stay here with me. We'll be together again, properly, like we were. No. Why? Because it wouldn't work. Yes, it would. Tell me that you don't love me, then. Don't be stupid. Come on, tell me. You have no right to do this. I wanted you and did everything but beg you to be with me, but you said no. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I was wrong. Maybe you just want what you can't have. I don't know that yet, though, do I? You still haven't said no. You still haven't said that you don't love me. All right. All right, I love you. I always have. Ever since that first time. You happy now? Have you got what you wanted? No, because I want you. I can't stay in Walford. Not now. Why? I told you why. I want to do something with my life. So you're still going? And you won't change your mind? I'm sorry. I have to. OK, I'll come with you then. Say that again. I'll come with you. Are you sure you want to come? What do you think?